Hey guys, what's up? Ashley here. Day number 196 of daily vlogging. Um, so I don't know why it's so funny to me every day. Like, I don't know why I laugh every time I say what number it is. Like, maybe because I just can't believe that I'm almost at 200 vlogs for the year. Like, wow, I'm really doing this. It's really happening. <laughs> um, so... Today, I want to tell you about something that I bought on Etsy, um, which I know Etsy sounds like it's like a crafty thing, but actually <laughs> what I did, this is very silly what I did. Um, so there are people <laughs> who sell, um, who sell like psychic drawings of, of your future husband. <laughs> um, so... I did it because I was just feeling like, you know, why not? I've really been looking at my horoscope a lot lately and like reading all the moon omens and stuff and just like letting it, like leaving things up to the universe. And then, um, I actually, I had it before all that stuff went down last week. Um, but, <laughs> um, I've just been like waiting for a time to share it because there's, I've just been so busy. Um, so finally... I want to read to you what the psychic said. So, dear future husband, <laughs> please love me. <laughs> anyway, um, so it comes with like a drawing of what he's supposed to look like and then like a little write-up of what he would like be like. So, this is what it, this is what it, what he looks like. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm getting like Zac Efron vibes from this drawing. <laughs> And like, who doesn't want, who doesn't love Zac Efron, you know? <laughs> but anyway, um, let me read to you what it says. Okay, so like, I'm not the best reader, <laughs> like especially out loud. So bear with me. <laughs> um, also, I just want everyone to know that like, I'm not like 100% like, this is it. This is what, this is what my husband will look like. And this is, this is exactly what he's going to be like. Like, I just like to look at horoscopes and this sort of thing for fun because, um, it's just fun to do. And also when like they, they tell you all these nice things that, that your future husband will be like, um, you're like, it just like makes you happy and gives you hope and whatever. So, and like, look, re, re looking at this now, is helpful because, you know, I need to move on from my <laughs> situation. Oh my God. <sighs> By the way, it took a whole day for him to come crawling back to me and I was like, um, I don't think so. <laughs> it's like, I can't emotionally handle that, okay? <laughs> please, please don't put this on me. <laughs> anyway, let me read you <laughs> what, my, what my psychic reading said. <laughs> Um, okay. So it says, you are destined to your future husband sooner than you think. He won't be your usual type. So, so don't get too put off. He'll be really gentle and kind soul who is wise beyond his years. <laughs> he is going to be completely unique to anybody you have ever met before. The more that you discover about him, the more you will love him. He is worth putting in your time, energies, and efforts. Um, I think, I think that that's good. <laughs> but now I know that, like, I have to give more people a chance. <laughs> Not just automatic say no. Um, okay. So then it, next it goes on to say, if you're looking for someone who is secure in themselves and creative, then your search will finally end here. This wonderful man will be extremely creative and, arti and artistic. Yes, he is going to be quirky and a bit out there, too, but in all the good ways. The good news is that he is going to be very good with his hands in more ways than one. <laughs> is my face red? <laughs> he will be good at fixing things and building things. That is fantastic because I cannot fix things or build things. So to have someone who can do that, yay. <laughs> but like also, I'm quirky also. Like so... To have someone who's also quirky would be really um, ideal because then they understand that it's okay to be a weirdo, you know? Um, I don't want anyone who's going to, like, be too, like, normal 
I guess we'll say because those are the people who judge me the hardest because like I mean like this is what my room looks like I have a Rapunzel I have two Rapunzel puzzles on my wall and I have all my mini ears on display and I have all my little Disney things and like I love my boy bands and you know I'm I'm quirky so whatever um and I'm good with that I enjoy being that way uh but a lot of people judge you for it so it's good that this is basically saying that he's not going to judge you for it and you shouldn't judge him for being his quirky self so yay <laughs> um next it goes on to say your future husband's creative talents will absolutely blow you away. He is going to be the full package, mind, body, heart, and soul. He will make you believe that fairy tales do exist. <laughs> this is the part that really gets me. <laughs> he will be your prince, your person, your lover, your best friend, your soulmate, and at times even your hero. Uh, he is going to be worth it all and so much more. You will need to be prepared to give this man a chance and venture out of your comfort zone. If you are able and willing to do this, you will experience the greatest love of all. <laughs> like, man, like, like, do they, did they look me up and say, oh, I definitely need to <laughs> use the word prince charming. Well, they didn't say charming, but they said prince, like. Oh, I am a princess after all. <laughs> I'm not just, I'm just your regular average quirky princess looking for a prince charming. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> See my crown in the back. <laughs> um, so then last it says, lastly, remember your future husband is not someone who completes you because you are already complete at your core. You are amazing and beautiful. I am so excited for you to meet your future husband. From what I have seen, you have a future full of love and laughter together. <laughs> Yay. I mean, like, I also, I, I feel this strongly. I don't need someone to complete me. I am a complete person. I can do all the things on my own. You know, I, I, I can do it. But um, I just want someone to enhance my life, not to complete it. You know, because I myself don't need a man to complete me. I am a full person all on my own. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm just, I'm just excited. Um, I don't really know where to go or what to do to find this person. Um, so like as much as I really don't want to go back on the dating apps, I might have to. Because like, what else am I going to do? I don't know. <laughs> so I'll take suggestions and if I do decide to go back on the apps, I'm going to need help building a profile because I don't, I don't know. I'm lost. I'm lost. It hasn't worked for 10 years. So like what is going to be different now? Um, I don't know. Maybe like because my mindset is going to be different. You know, I'm not going to let people, I'm not going to let these men walk all over me. I'm going to set strong boundaries, but also give people a chance. <laughs> It's such a crazy balance. I don't know. Oh my gosh. But I'm very excited. This is very promising. Um, I have to believe that this stuff is true because like when you put these things out into the universe then hopefully they come back to you. Um, so no more negative energy for me. That's for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm excited guys. Let's see where the rest of this year takes me with all my... <laughs> new newfound optimism even though like I'm always I'm like optimistic person in general but I'm just like not optimistic about my dating life because it's just been so garbage oh my god but I'm gonna try to turn that around and be more positive about dating and maybe something will work out for me and if not like I said I am a cold complete person all on my own just over here living my life <laughs> um and I guess that's it for today any suggestions will be fantastic <laughs> or if you know if you yourself know any single men who you think would be eligible well that you are definitely eligible <laughs> or you think would be good for me um you know give them my number call me <laughs> or don't don't call me text me I won't answer any any phone numbers that I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. 
that's it for me for today. And I'll talk to you tomorrow. Love you. Bye.